Hello everybody, this is Kian.Smart Smarthome and my name is Ali Reza. I have dedicated this tutorial to themes in Home Assistant. Themes are visual patterns or let's say collection of patterns that determine the look and feel of a graphic interface. In simple words, let's call themes window decorations. So themes can determine or can customize the look and feel of an operating system. A theme in Home Assistant is a set of files that can be added to your Home Assistant to decorate the way your Home Assistant frontend looks. It changes things like background, font colors, and lovelace icons, and so forth. Themes can drastically change the look and feel of your Home Assistant and make it much more visually appealing. There are two ways that we can change themes in Home Assistant. The first way is too simple, it just changes the colors, and the second way is a little more advanced. I will cover both ways in this video. Let's start. I start with the first way of changing themes in Home Assistant. After connecting to Home Assistant on the left panel, at the bottom of the page, navigate to your profile. I click on my profile. In this page, we have a section named theme. Here we can change themes. By default, it is set to auto. You can set it to light or dark. There are two colors, primary color and accent color. By clicking on the color, you can change the color easily. This is the simplest way of changing themes. And as you see, it is very simple. Let's start the second method. First of all, advanced mode must be enabled in Home Assistant. To do so, in your profile, find advanced mode. If it is disabled, enable it. Then navigate to configuration Click on Add-ons, Backups, and Supervisor. In order to use the second method, we have to install Hacks. Hacks, or Home Assistant Community Store, is a manager for installing and easily update custom elements for Home Assistant. In order to install Hacks, we need GitHub account, which is free. By going to github.com, if you don't have an account, you can freely sign up. I already have a GitHub account. Let's continue. In order to install Hacks, we need Terminal and SSH add-ons. If you do not have it, by navigating to Configurations and Supervisor, here by clicking on Add-on Store, you can search it and install it easily by finding the add-ons and clicking on it. Here you should see install icon and clicking on it, the add-on will be installed. I already have the add-on installed, I click on it. Then select open web UI. In this page, we have to enter a code to install Hacks. I paste the code. You can find the code in description. After pasting the code, you may see a little change in the code. You can correct it yourself. Wait till installation completes, or let's say downloading completes. In installation completed, remember to restart Home Assistant before you configure it. In order to restart Home Assistant, navigate to Configuration, click on Settings. 
here you can restart your home assistant by clicking on restart okay wait till home assistant reboots home assistant has started now navigate to configuration click on device and services in this page click on add integration search hacks click on it you should check all items then click submit actually you have to check all items click on submit home assistant is showing us a code we need it open on the link which home assistant is showing the github then paste the following key to authorize hacks enter the code here click continue make sure you trust this device as it will get access to your account I click authorize hacks congratulations you are all set let's go back to home assistant In installation is successful you can set a room for your integration then click on finish now hacks must be configured I click on configure enable these items then click submit options successfully saved now let's use themes in hacks okay in order to use themes in hacks we need to enter a code in configuration file navigate to configuration select add-ons and backup and supervisor in this section we need file editor add-on if you do not have it click on add on a store and install it after installing file editor click on it select open web UI then navigate to configuration.yaml file here in this page paste these codes you can find them in description then click on save after saving home assistant must be restarted again by navigating to configurations selecting settings and click on, on restart it is done Home Assistant has started. Now we can change the themes using hacks. Navigate to hacks. In the left sidebar of Home Assistant, you can find hacks. Click on it. Click on front end. Here we can install Lovelace and themes by clicking on explore and download repositories. By default, both Lovelace and themes are displayed you can select only themes by clicking on each of them you can see a view of the theme then decide to install it for example this theme looks like this let's choose another one
this one looks like this I download this one by clicking on download this repository with hacks click on download the theme is downloaded you can easily download other themes by clicking on explore and download repositories and selecting other themes let's select another one easily clicking on download the theme will be downloaded now let's change the theme and use installed themes navigate to profile in front of theme this drop down list is enabled after installing or let's say downloading themes from the list you can select the desired theme That's it. Also, you can download Lovelaces and use them in your cards. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have any question, do not hesitate to leave comments. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe my channel if you haven't done already. You can support me by buying me a coffee. I'll see you in the next video.